So what do we think about Terry, hey? A little bit of a procrastinator, if you ask me. Actually, I can relate. I'm a little bit like that as well. Terry had a plan. It was a good plan. It was to read 90 pages every day, and that would work out uh, apparently uh, really well to complete the assignment on time. But in reality, what happened, uh, Terry slacked off a little bit early on and uh, was 15 pages short every day for the first several days. Now, if Terry is going to finish the assignment on time, he or she will have to compensate for uh, missing those 15 pages day after day after day. Now, I don't know how many times these 15 pages were missed. It could have accumulated quite a bit. For example, if, uh, if Terry was slacking for the first 10 days, at 15 pages each day, well, now we have to compensate by 150 pages. Uh, so I don't know what that quantity is, but I'm very interested to find out. Now, we are told that in order to complete the assignment in time, Terry has to read 690 pages in the last six days. And I'm wondering, uh, I mean, obviously, this is going to be above what the plan would have called for, right? The plan was just 90 pages each day, but Terry will have to go above that to finish the assignment in time, to compensate for that early slack. So what I'm wondering is, 690 is how much above what the plan would have called for, right? So in the last six days, if Terry had gone according to plan, six days multiplied by 90 is 540. But instead, Terry will read 690. That's a difference of 150. Why is Terry over-reading, right? reading 150 pages more than the plan would have called for? He or she must be compensating for the 150 pages that they were missing in the beginning. Now, I didn't know that it was 150 pages that were missing. That's just a lucky coincidence. But it turns out that, yep, there were 10 days worth of slack. Right? There was sl uh, minus 15, minus 15, minus 15, minus 15 for 10 days. And then six days in the end to compensate for a total of 16 days, which is answer choice B. Now, I think the big takeaway from this question is if you know that a bunch of different numbers are going to average out onto some middle ground, in this case, 90 pages per day, then look at the deviations from that plan or from that mean and understand that all of those deviations have to cancel out in the end of the day. That's really the concept that I used to solve this question. However many negative 15s there were early on will have to cancel out with the excess in the last six days. I think the common mistake people make on this question is they focus on the 75 pages, 75 pages, 75 pages early on, whereas what you should focus on is the negative 15, negative 15, negative 15. In other words, it's not about the number itself, it's about the deviation of that number from some special middle ground. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.